frogs and toads. These fascinating creatures, belonging to the order Anura, are ubiquitous inhabitants of our planet's wetlands, forests and gardens. While often used interchangeably, there are distinct differences between them. Understanding these differences allows us to appreciate their unique adaptations and the crucial roles they play in the delicate balance of our ecosystems. Both frogs and toads are amphibians. This means they live part of their lives in water and part on land. They are essential components of their respective habitats, serving as indicators of environmental health. By observing their populations and behaviours, we gain valuable insights into the well-being of our planet. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of frogs and toads, exploring their physical characteristics, behaviours and the ecological significance they hold. Their story is a testament to the wonders of evolution and the interconnectedness of all living things. Frogs with their smooth, moist skin are instantly recognizable. Their sleek bodies are adapted for leaping and swimming. Their long, powerful hind legs propel them through water and over land with ease. Their bulging eyes provide a wide field of vision, essential for hunting and evading predators. Toads, on the other hand, possess a more robust build. Their skin is dry and bumpy, often covered in warts. These warts are not contagious to humans. They are, in fact, glands that secrete toxins. These toxins deter predators, providing toads with an effective defense mechanism. Their shorter hind limbs limit their jumping ability, but make them adept at crawling and burrowing. Toads are often found in drier habitats, their thicker skin helping to prevent water loss. From the vibrant poison dart frogs of the Amazon rainforest to the common toads of our backyards, the Anura order exhibits a remarkable diversity of adaptations. Each species has evolved to thrive in its particular niche. The air heavy with humidity vibrates with the calls of frogs and toads during the breeding season. Each species has its unique call, a symphony of croaks, chirps and trills that fill the night. Males use these calls to attract females and establish their territory. Frogs, generally preferring aquatic environments, lay their eggs in large gelatinous masses in water. These masses, often attached to vegetation, can contain hundreds or even thousands of eggs. The eggs hatch into tadpoles, aquatic larvae with gills and tails, which eventually metamorphose into adult frogs. Toads, while also laying their eggs in water, often choose different strategies. Some species lay their eggs in long strings draped over aquatic plants. Others lay fewer eggs, investing more parental care in their offspring. For instance, the male midwife toad carries the fertilized eggs on its back until they hatch. Frogs and toads play a vital role in maintaining the ecological balance of their habitats. They are both predators and prey, forming an integral part of the food web. As voracious insectivores, they help control populations of insects, many of which can be agricultural pests or disease vectors. Their diet also includes slugs, snails and other invertebrates, contributing to the natural regulation of these populations. In turn, frogs and toads serve as a food source for a variety of animals, including snakes, birds and fish. Their presence or absence can have cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. Their sensitivity to environmental changes makes them excellent bioindicators. They are particularly vulnerable to pollution, habitat loss and climate change. The health of frog and toad populations serves as a barometer for the overall health of the ecosystem.